One group that fights for every breath is now fighting for a higher spot in line when it comes to the COVID vaccine. Yeah, we're talking about cystic fibrosis patients. They say they're being forgotten in Pennsylvania. NBC 10's Lucy Bosamante live in the newsroom to explain more on this. Morning, Lucy. Hey, good morning again, guys. That's right. They're, they're not on the list for Category 1A. In fact, the order in which people can get vaccinated in the state of Pennsylvania has cystic fibrosis patients furious and fighting for a higher priority. So this is Emily Kramer Golinkoff. She's showing us a day in her life of trying to get a better breath in her lungs. These are her breathing treatments. She started a foundation to accelerate the research and drug development for cystic fibrosis, an advanced stage of those patients. She says that the CF community took COVID very seriously, and because so few CF patients have died during the pandemic from COVID, the CDC is using those low numbers against them. Smokers in Pennsylvania are listed are prioritized above people with CF. So it, it's pretty egregious. So I have advanced stage lung disease. I have about 33% lung function. Um, and as soon as you know COVID erupted, it was pretty clear that for people like us, um, COVID could be a death trap, um, even more so than for, for the for the average population. And so this is her friend and her colleague, Anna Payne. She's Middletown Township's supervisor and member of the PA Rare Disease Advisory Council. And she has been helping Emily contact legislators at every level to get CF patients moved up to Category 1A. And she, too, has CF. You know, speaking personally as a CF patient, I do not check off any other boxes. But as an elected official, I would actually, as it stands, be able to qualify for the vaccine as an elected official at the same time as I would a cystic fibrosis patient. And that just does not seem right. So we have reached out to the state health department about where they stand with moving those CF patients to a higher spot on the list. We'll keep you posted on this. Lucy Bustamante, NBC 10 News.